Hey guys. Hey. Happy Sunday. Happy right, Sunday. June 12th. It's a beautiful day. Yep. It was raining earlier, but the sun has come out. Guys. We're in Chelsea. Boy, oh boy, do we have a treat today. A total treat for you. Ah, oh, boy, oh boy. Focused. Most importantly, guys, we are at Peter McManus Cafe in Chelsea at the corner of 19th Street and 7th Avenue. This is an annual event where they close the street and they play stickball because stickball is a classic New York City street game. And Peter McManus Cafe is a fan of stickball because guess what? Peter McManus is the oldest family operated bar like that's been in the same family in all of New York City. It was founded in 1836. We're gonna go inside the bar. We're gonna to talk to the owner. I see him from across the street, James McManus. He's the third generation owner. Then there's of course a fourth generation owner. That's his son, Justin. But, uh, and we're gonna watch some stickball being played. Hudson's excited. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Myrna. Hey, Al Allie, Indiana. Sally hey, Scipio. Lois Campbell, George Lopez. Welcome aboard, guys. Most importantly, big treat today. Not only is it free to play stickball if you want to come and play stickball, but Peter McManus gives away free refreshments. You heard right, free refreshments. And you know what that means for Hudson. Yeah. Hot dogs, beer, not beer for Hudson. Hot dogs, yes, for Hudson. And Hudson helps keep score. We've attended this before. So, while they're getting the game set up. Oh, hey, Nick G. Hey, Nick G. George Lopez says, Myrna Barger is chasing me with a stick. Help. Oh, my God. <laughs> Too funny. Joanne yeah. A.W. says, hi there. Hey, Joanne A.W., how are you today? Arlene Marino is checking in. Rochelle Knight's checking in. Nice job. Welcome aboard, guys. So, guys, while they're setting up for the stick ball, um, I'm going to see if we can um, stop and say hi to... James McManus. James McManus is the third generation owner of Peter McManus Cafe. Hey Jamo! How you doing? How's everything? Good to see you. Good to see you. I got the Hudson's across the street. You remember Hudson the doggo? How's everything? Good? Oh, good, good. I'm glad to see this is back. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna we're going to we're gonna go inside the bar and I'm gonna show you the amazing, amazing interior. This bar has so many historic things, including Tiffany Glass. Yes, you heard right. This bar has Tiffany Glass. I'm gonna, I walk through the bar, but I'm gonna show you from the outside. Let me show you the bar from the outside. This, this stained glass right here is by Tiffany. Now you see the subway runs right here. That's why it's so loud. The subway runs right in front and kind of like really underneath the, the restaurant. It's a, you know, bar slash restaurant. So it's the original transom window. See, these are the, this was air conditioning back in the day. Real Tiffany glass, this is. And it has original bar that's 75 feet long, the bar. And the back bar is also t Tiffany glass. See, all that, that's Tiffany glass. I mean, they just don't make them like this anymore. This is the OG. See, Tiffany Glass. And this bar is the original bar. It's 75 feet long. And look at the terrazzo floor. And best of all, look at the telephones. They have telephone booths working. Best phone booths. Let's see if they still have a dial tone. No, no dial tone anymore. No dial tone. Now let me show you more of this. 
Don't you just love the nooks, the green nooks, very, very, very Kelly Green Irish. Isn't it fabulous? It's a fabulous bar. We've documented it. We've carefully documented the whole uh, bar and all its historic parts. But isn't it amazing? It's just such a gorgeous bar. Oh, what's this place like for food? That's a great question because they have an ama they have amazing hamburgers. They're actually really, really well known for their burgers. So not only do they is a great bar, but it has great food too. And they even have an outdoor seating area. I'm going to show you it in a second. I'm going to go around front. See, that's their little outdoor seating area. So if you want, you can uh, dine outside too, right here, see? Of course they have Jameson on top. Hey, Ridgewood 237. So we're here because this is their annual stickball day event. And they close off the street and they play stickball in the street. They're just getting started. They're, they're drawing the plate, they're picking the teams. And they have free beer and, and hot dogs. And things are going to get underway. Looks like they're going to get started, guys. Yeah, looks like they're getting batter up. <laughs> Will Hudson play shortstop? Oh, you know, no, Hudson's going to play hot dog catcher. Hudson's going to play eat and steal the ball. Eat and steal the ball. He knows what's up. Yeah. See, this is, a, stick ball is played with a stick. Let me show you. It's not, it's not a bat. It's a stick. Hence the name stick ball. See? A stick ball. It's a stick. And it's played with a little, little, uh, the ball is like, you know, like those little um, balls that you can buy at the, the, the corner store. You know, the little pink, the little pink balls. Uh, if I see one, I'm going to show it to you. Stick ball. Okay, so they're getting the teams, they're drawing everyone in from the bar, saying, do you want to play stick ball? Yeah, it's like a broom handle. What's the name of that ball? That the, the pink pinky. ball. The pink ball. Oh, pinky. That's all it's well, called. Spalding. Pink. Spalding. Spal Spaldings. No, but Spalding. Spalding. That's the name of the ball. Yes, yeah, Spalding balls. Exactly, R. J. Wertheimer. Yeah. You got it. See, they're 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 gathering around. They're drawing up the teams. They put a home plate. There's a home plate. The streets closed off. So if you want to join. Join us in Hudson. We're here at the corner and of 19th Street and 7th Avenue, right at the subway stop. Here's the subway. The one subway. There's no entrance here, but you can exit. Yeah, there's, you can exit the subway here. And we'll be right here. Nick G thinks it's awesome. Hey, Ron TV Metro. Oh, R.J. Wertheimer used to play on 169th Street in Flushing growing up. Ah, uh, nice. I'm going to be picked last, as Fields 99 saying. Oh, no, no, not with Hudson on your side. Oh, see, there's the pink ball. He's got the Spalding. There he is. He's got the pink ball. There's the bat. Okay. They're getting ready. They're setting up. Put me in, coach. Ridgewood 237 says, put me in, coach. Look at Hudson. He's really excited. He's really excited for the stick ball. Really excited. OK, here we go. All right. We're getting ready, guys. We're getting ready. I'm going to stand in the danger zone behind home plate. The danger zone. 
Jimmy, I'm in the danger zone. Welcome to the danger zone. There he goes. You see the pink ball. See, there's rules, guys. There's rules. You miss, you're out. Here we go. Get ready for the spalding. Here we go. Stick ball. Runaway Spalding. That's a runaway Spalding. It wouldn't be stick wall without some spe spilled beer. Oh, there we go. Good hit. Good hit. If Hudson sees that pink, pink ball, we might see the fastest outfielder in New York go after a ball. Billy Glenn says if Hudson sees the pink ball, we might have the fastest outfield outfielder in all of New York. I totally agree. Guys, this is a nice breeze. It's nice and breezy. It's beautiful. This is for all ages, both kids and adults. They're all playing sick ball. Right. Okay, so now they're playing, you know, you switch sides. You know, there's rules, guys. There's rules. There's not just, like, this isn't just, you know, random. And you keep score with chalk. Yeah, it's beautiful out, Nick G. James, what's the current temperature? James is going to do a temperature check. Nick, Nick G, you are right. 73 degrees Fahrenheit. 22 degrees Celsius for everyone keeping in Celsius. Here in the United States, we're quite backwards and we keep in Fahrenheit. But all the rest of the world uses Celsius. <laughs> Snaps for playing while holding a beer. Exactly, exactly. Now that's a skill. See, that's a skill that you must learn when playing stickball. Jim, snaps for playing while holding a beer. Oh, hey, Mark Wren, how you doing? Oh, Yuri A played in stickball league in the 1980s. Oh, Yuri, that's amazing. Extra good. <laughs> hey, Amani Ali. Okay. I don't know who's in charge. Yeah, this is an odd thing. Guys, guys, hold up. We got car coming through. Guys. They've called it. They said, guys, the Mercedes person must get through. It has to. Let's see if she really lives here. 
James, did she really live here? I couldn't see. I see brake lights way down there. Oh, someone just swung a mist. Swing and a miss. All right, guys. The game has resumed. I want to show you the, the, the very important job that sometimes Hudson helps with. It's the keeping of the score with the chalk. Let me show you. See, very important. The keeping of the score. Oh, that's with right. Chalk. Me the score. Yes. We need. Wait a minute. This, this is not the score area. He's got to make a score area. See, with the chalk, you need, you need to use the chalk. And Hudson's going to help with keeping score. Who let off last inning? There we go. Uh, oh, what a. Oh, Nick G. Nick G's. Nick G would like a hot dog here in the moderator booth. It would help cheer him up. Send some up, Nick G. Oh yeah, we can send some hot dogs up. The hot dogs and the beer are free. You know, we're in Chelsea. Um, BX Ray. We're in the Chelsea neighborhood of Manhattan. We're in the corner of 19th Street and 7th Avenue. We're at Peter McManus Cafe. They have an annual event. Of course, it was it was it was uh, canceled Rory. the other year because of uh, you know the pandemic, but it's back. Oh, nice hit, nice hit. Playing stickball, the classic New York City street game. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Rapp says hi from Jerusalem. Stickball on a Sunday in New York City. Oh, what memories. Yeah, lessons to all the young ones watching. Yeah, stickball is like, you know, old school game. Oh, Mike Wallen. Mike Wallen wants me to explain yesterday. Yes, guys, I apologize for yesterday. The live stream got cut off. Oh, wait a minute. I apologize for yesterday. They want me to continue my story of why I eat so fast. The reason why Carla eats so fast is my mother was a terrible cook growing up. Terrible. It, everything was either very, very burnt or just um, totally, um, basically almost inedible. Now, my father felt, felt sorry for me. You know, I was, I was always skinny, skinny kid. But not when I was a baby. When I was a baby, I was chubby. Uh, I was born like six pounds nine ounces and I had chubby cheeks you saw the baby picture I put it up when it was my birthday last year I put it up on the um, community page but I was always you know skinny and part of the reason was is that my mother's cooking was was horrific now my father felt bad because he knew that my mother's cooking was terrible and he made a deal with me he said if you eat everything on your plate you know this awful cooking that whatever mom puts on the plate burnt meatloaf you know burnt whatever um you'll get dessert and dessert was my favorite thing because dessert was either ice cream or sara lee pound cake yes yeah, sara, sara lee pound cake it used to come like in a frozen container yeah, sure. like a frozen thing and you got to thaw it it was came out of the uh, freezer and if I finished all the food on my plate, like the dinner food, you know, the vegetables, the, the burnt vegetables, everything was burnt, um, then I got dessert. So I ate really fast just to get it over with, just so I could have my dessert. Yes. Sfield says, 99 says, Carla, I want to cook for you. Oh. Thank you, S Fields. So guys, we're at the annual stickball game at Peter McManus Cafe. Peter McManus Cafe is the oldest continuously run by the same family bar in all of New York City. It's been in business since 1936. And if you missed the, live sh the earlier part of the live stream, I want to show you the outside of it. It has original Tiffany, you heard right, Tiffany, Tiffany glass like this is Tiffany and the back even even in the back bar is is Tiffany glass all this 
Okay, Marilyn Monroe. This is Tiffany Glass. <laughs> Tiffany. Yeah, it's it's not it's not just a, a reproduction. Real Tiffany Glass. So this is the, the OG, authentic. Here's Hudson. He's waiting patiently. He's waiting patiently because he's going to get a hot dog. But we don't want him to have too many hot dogs, so we're we're trying to pace him. You know, it's 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 all about pacing. You know, you gotta pace yourself. Pace yourself with the beer, pace yourself with hot dogs. He'll understand he's not he's not a suitable mate if you see him play play sick ball. He'll immediately leave him. Oh wow. Player two! Player two! It was better the other way. You can't see it. Yeah. Guys, we're trying to give you the best overview of the game to show you what's going on here. I don't know how to hit it. I love these areas of New York. Show us and, and your stories. Oh, thank you, KLMO. Stuart Price, Hudson's the king of hot dogs. Yes, put up that hot dog emoji. He is, he loves hot dogs. We'll be getting him a hot dog soon. Jeremy Cox just sent us $9.99 for nice more job, hot dogs Jeremy. for Hudson. Jeremy, oh my God. Nice Jeremy, you know what that means. We yeah. better get Hudson a hot dog real quick. Uh -uh. Pronto it will be. Oh, it just hit off the Mc Peter McManus, the, the building. Now, this is an interesting factoid. Before I go and get a hot dog, I want to let you know that I, I told you already. Whoa, good, good. Go girl, you go girl. Right, you go girl. So, listen guys, Peter McManus, you would think that because this is the oldest continuously operating family-owned bar in New York City. Oh, look at this cutie. Hi, cutie. He's friendly. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look at this little boy. Hudson's made a new friend. Look at his, look at his markings. He's like a, like a Oreo cookie. Like a... Like he's got a perfect line on his face. Oh, Hudson loves him. Oh. How old is he? How old is he? I think we're probably around two. Oh, this is Hudson. He's, he's ten. 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 Oh, they he's love each ten. other. Oh my God, you've made his day. What's his name? Maverick. Maverick, hi. Maverick. Mr. Hudson loves you. Uh, we, we live a little bit further east, but we're we're in the neighborhood all the time. Oh, we hope to see Maverick again. Oh my God, Hudson's in love. Yeah, Hudson's loving it. Yeah. All right. So, should we get Hudson his first hot dog o already? Yeah, so, oh, let me, let me before, before I get Hudson his first hot dog, let me tell you about Peter McManus Cafe. This bar is family owned and it's the oldest continuously operating family owned bar that's been in the same family, the McManus family, for four generations now. There's, there are all older bars in New York City like White Horse Tavern and McSorley's and places like that, Old Town Bar, but they haven't been in the same family. They were sold. This has been in the same Peter McManus family. And guess what, guys? You see the building that it's in. They do not own the building. That's a secret that I found out because I interviewed Jamo, James McManus, the third generation owner, who's right outside. Um, and I was shocked when he told me that they didn't own the building. They used to. His grandfather bought the building many, many, many years ago when they first opened the bar. But guess what happened? Unfortunately, grandfather, grandfather died and grandma gave the bar to the two sons and gave the building to the two daughters. And guess what the two daughters did? You know, uh, James McManus's um, aunts. They sold the building and the two brothers, the McManus brothers, did not have enough money 
they were short by $18,000 to buy the building. So they rent, they do not own this building. Nick G saying, do the bar owners make a decent living? Well, this is the, this is the problem. During the pandemic, no. Yeah, that's the, rub. the The rub is, is they don't own the building, so they have to pay rent. And the pandemic like near, nearly killed them because they had to close you know, uh, during the height of the pandemic. And even then, you know, bars had to be closed. Like, you, you know, you could serve beer outside and, you know, like it just didn't work, you know, it, it just, it, they lost a lot of business. So they need your support is basically what I'm trying to say. Ooh, oh, fly ball. Hudson sitting out this game, James Satella saying. Here in San Diego, we have the over the line tournament, George Lopez saying. Oh, yeah. hey. So here's Hudson. I think it's time for a hot dog for Hudson. So let me go in and find out where, 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 where can I get a hot dog? Okay, James is gonna wait with Hudson. Where I, where I go f find where the hot dogs are at. I know where the beer is at, but I didn't find where the hot dogs are at. I'm gonna find out. So the beer is here. I mean, I think I have to go inside to get to, to see if I can get a hot dog. So hold on. All right. Okay, I got it. I found out where the hot dogs are. I'm betting online. <laughs> I'm online. <laughs> Here comes the hot dogs. Here they are. Oh, perfecto. Oh, let me uh, let me uh, make room. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm, oh, go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna back up because I'm gonna be in the way. The hot dogs are back in there. I'm gonna get a hot dog for Hudson. Oh, girl and curl went to a car show on Friday, and a guy dressed in white, riding bike with ice cream, was so much fun to see old-fashioned ice cream man. Oh my God, girl and curl, that sounds amazing. Oh, see, he's got all the condiments. Awesome. Everything. Oh, perfect. Can I have one hot dog? Thank you. Okay. Hold on, guys. I have, um, let me back up. I'm going to give him a tip, too. So let me get a tip for the hot dog. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, no, I'm good. This is I'm, I'm perfect. Perfect. Here, I'll put a little, little mustard, but that's it. Look, they have a lot of condiments, even beans. And, and most importantly, let me, get, let me get a napkin because hot, dogs, hot dog eating is a messy thing. First hot dog for El, H El Hutzlero. Okay, here we go. We're gonna walk through the bar and show you the beautiful back bar. Look at this. It's all, the bar is 75 feet long, guys. Do you see how the bar like curves around? Do you see, do you see how it, it's 75 feet long. It's a huge bar. And it's original also. I believe it's mahogany. Okay, so most importantly, hot dog for Hudson. Hot dog. 
for Hudson. James, I'm having a little problems. It's, you know, it, it got... Yeah, I got you it. Know. Guys. Guys. It's an important time. It's the time that Hudson got his hot dog. Hot first, dog time. Hot Watch dog. the cars come close. Oh, okay, let's wait. Yeah, come on yeah. to the sidewalk, man. Yeah, I got it. Ready, sit, yeah. action. Hey! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy. Uh, he's loving it, guys. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hut time. Is there any other time? Yeah, Broccoli says. Go by the game in the background. Sure. Hot broccoli hot says. Hot have a hot dog. All right, you ready, Mr. Hudson? Here we go. Oh, wait up, honey. Luigi, Fernando, two dollars. Fantastic job, Luigi. Thanks for that, Luigi. Nice job. He's doing good, right? Tremendously gifted. Nice job. Ah, oh, the Huds. The Hudster. Guys, we're in Peter McManus on uh, 7th Avenue and West 19th Street. First hot dog of the day of the stickball game down the hatch. Down the hatch for the first hot dog of the game for Hudson. Very satisfied. Look at him licking his lips now. Yeah, he's, he's like, like where's more now? He's like, yeah, okay. That okay, ready for the next one. Ready for the next one. All right, keep them coming. Christian and he says, oh, the Kami Carla t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, hey. Buy Kami Carly t-shirt and you'll get a free hot dog. Hey. Oh, yeah, right look. Here. James is rocking it. Kami Carla t-shirt designed by none other than the Christian amazing Donati. graphic designer Christian Donati. Get your, get your uh, Carla and Hudson drip. Get your drip on. Mr. Hot Dog, he said, broccoli, stay home. Broccoli said. Say it. Mr. Hot Dog, stay home. Guys, we're watching stickball game outside of Peter McManus Cafe. Yeah. It's an annual event. And we're here. We're bringing it to you. Yeah. Oh. Oh, thank you, Luigi Fanato, for the $2 super chat. Thank you so much. Yeah. I was busy giving Hudson his hot dog when you when you uh, sent that. Thank you, Luigi. Here's Hudson. Oh. Wow, he's running. Wow. <laughs> Vanessa Whitby took her toddler yesterday right. to Burbank, California, March for Our Lives, and after the train shot. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that was a good hit. Good hit. Here's Hudson. Just had his hot dog. Just had his hot dog. So don't be feeling sorry for Mr. Hudson, El Hustlero. Luigi says it's a tip for the hot dog cook. Oh, thank you, Luigi. I did give him a tip. Oh, Joseph um, Sillin says hi from Arkansas. Hi, Joseph. Guys, stickball game in progress. Classic New York City street game played with a stick 
and a pink spalding ball. You see the ball? It's a pink ball. The pink balls were, were sold in classic uh, newsstands, like your corner candy store oh, yeah, yeah. sold the pink balls. You could always find the pink balls, the Spaldings, for sale at your corner luncheonette slash candy store newsstand. Yeah, it's a soft ball, yes. Now let me let me show you the score is kept with chalk. Let me show you. Let me show you the score. This is how you keep score. You you uh, keep score on the street with some chalk. Let me let me come around. I'm gonna show you the chalk. See, here's the score. You keep score this way. The chalk. Now I want to tell you these kids not only um, not only are they playing stickball they're smart see brain quest workbook they're busy they're studying they're playing and they're studying. They're do, they're doing good. Lisa Hopper says we're watching with you guys. We're cleaning the house and tidying. Oh, awesome! Bastian X says nice from Dortmund, Germany. Extra good. Oh God, I see what's what. Spalding pink balls sold right next door to the right next to the Duncan yo-yos exactly exactly the pink spalding balls they're they're very they're very soft Luigi Fanano just sent five dollars donate to the bar please oh my god I definitely will let me go over there because I want to I want to tell you that the donations are going to um, the cancer fund any donations I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you the donation bin hold on guys let me come by and I'm going to show you the donations that are being taken because they're giving away the beer for free. Now, when you get a beer, they would appreciate they would appreciate a donation because the donations are going to cancer. I'm going to show you right now. See, here's the here's the, the stickball game rules, and this these. <laughs> right team batting order and chalk on side. Teams are seven to twelve players. Bounce the ball once from mounds to plate at a slow plate pace. Standard baseball rules apply, but one swing and miss and out. That's it. No cold strikes. One full foul gets a second swing. Second foul is out. No sliding. A ball hitting the building past the driveway on the third base side is fair. And a ball hitting the white building after the sugar cookies awning on the first base side is fair. A ball Thank hit you. onto any roof or any place that doesn't come back is an out. A ball caught off a building, car, tree, or anything before touching the street is an out. There's no arguing, and Peter McManus' staff decision is final on any dispute. Games are six innings, winning team stays on. A team winning three games in a row retires and enjoys the thrill of stickball fame. Do not boo, block, or curse at any cars coming. And see, the tips are greatly appreciated and it goes, it goes um, to, to cancer charity. Look, absolutely no glass outside. Pour the bottle beer milk, see? It's the 63rd biannual stickball classic. It gets you free draft beer outside as long as the donated kegs last. Help yourself in the kitchen to our contrary beef hot dogs, chicken, pork, spare ribs. Just kindly throw out your place snaps into the trash when you finish. See, and these are all volunteers. It's extra, extra good. This is all good stuff. Oh, Jeremy Cox just donated four ninety nine to the bar. I'm, I'm getting out. I'm getting out cash right now to give as a donation. Hold on, guys. I gotta get out. I gotta get a hand ready.
Okay. Guys, we got the, we're, we're, we're donating to the bar to be for Thank extra you. good. <laughs> no problem. We're we're happy. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> hot dog or something. Oh, uh, we'll we'll get it. We'll take a hot dog hot in a little dog, while. Ribs inside. Inside. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. They said thank you so much for the donation. Extra, extra good. Oh, looks like there's some controversy. I read all the rules. So guys, it's one, there's not any strikes. It's like you miss, it's an out. James, I, uh, we got another donation for the bar. I gave them, I gave them a donation. We're all set. Awesome. Two fouls and you're out. No, yeah, no, no, no. A swing and a miss, you're out. Right. One swing and a miss. Two fouls, you're out. Like right. If you tip, if you tip it. Right. right. One foul, or you're allowed it, a do-over. Or hit it off to the left or right. Right. But the second two redo. of those, you're out. Exactly. Exactly. I gave all the rules. Yeah. Look at oh, look at this! Look at the little sneakers. Oh my God. He won't wear the boots. Keeps his feet clean. Yeah. yeah he won't wear them. So he's going to pull over there. He's going to read his P-mail. He's reading his P-mail. Look at the little dainty, look at the little dainty sneakers. He's in his buddy. Yeah. Oh, hey, this, this is, is buddy? Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Oh my God, buddy is the cutest. Those sneakers are so adorable. And buddy doesn't mind wearing them? He hasn't said anything, but I'm sure he would rather not wear them. Uh, buddy buddy said, doesn't say anything. Oh, Tiger Lily 2013 just sent us 449 to donation to the to, to the, the bar, please. Nice. Oh, we got you, Tiger Lily. We'll get you. We're gonna go back to the bar in a little bit. We just want to catch some more of the game, and I'll get another hot dog for Hudson as well. Yeah, that sounds good. They're all beef hot dogs, so they're healthy for Hudson. Yeah, Myrna, weren't those sneakers? Little Buddy was wearing those such cute, a little adorable sneakers. Now Hudson would never, never, never wear sneakers on his feet. Wow, there's all sorts of stuff going on. Hudson emailed him back. Exactly, Mary Pat. Hudson read Buddy's Buddy's P mail and he P mailed back. Exactly. It's called P mail. Reading the P mail. See, one swing and a miss, you're out. You get one try, you're out. That's a stickball rule. If you get, if it's a foul, you get one try as a do-over, like a foul tip. Oh, oh, that's it. The He's out. Let me show you the. Let me show you the. Uh, James, I want to show Hudson the, uh, the the chalk. Okay, Hudson's Hudson's gonna go check out the the score bar. Here he is. He's gonna check the score. He's gonna make sure it's right. Hudson, Hudson, what do you think? How's the score doing? And Jose. All right, hold it. Scott Hutz. Hutz, what do you think? Is the score correct? Hudson said the score is right. Hudson's just busy looking at the beer that's over here. And there could be a there could be a, a hot dog piece too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's looking for hot dogs. I better I better take him away. Okay, let, let me get let me get through before they they uh, batter up again. Batter up. We're at 7th Avenue and West 19th Street. We're at the annual stickball game outside Peter McManus Cafe. Texman81 just gave us $10 for Hudson's next hot dog. Oh, let me, let me, uh, let me give you, show you Hudson. Texman81 just sent us $10 for the Hudson's Hudson. next, next hot dog, next right. hot dog. He says, thank you, Texman81. Thanks, Texman81. Fantastic job. Extra good. Guys, we're out here on uh, 7th Avenue, West 19th. Looks like the clouds are darkening. 
and thickening. Yeah, the clouds are a little a little ominous, guys. It did rain earlier, but then it cleared out, but I don't know. The Here skies are darkening. Okay. Hold on, Joe. Let's see. Get ready. Here we go. The pink ball is a spalding. Wow! Whoa! Oh, good catch! Good catch! Spalding. <laughs> wow, what a good catch he had. That almost went out into traffic and he caught it. Two fouls, you're out. Exactly. Exactly. Those are the rules of stickball. See, he's like the official catcher. See, he's got the McManus mutts. Okay. He's the official catcher. He's really good because like he saved that ball from flying out into traffic. Adidas day for Carla. Yeah, I'm, I'm decked in my. I'm you know I got Adidas sneakers. I'm ready. It's stick ball. Okay. Get in the Spalding. The little pink ball is called a Spalding. It's very it's it's very like bouncy. It's very bouncy. It's not a bat, it's a stick. It's a stick ball game. Oh, Ed Reed's saying some balls were sponge-like and a bit heavier. Yeah, we'll check out the consistency. Okay, wait, here's a... Let's see, I think we have a whole bag of balls. There's a whole bag. Okay, see, we got the chalk. Oh, see, these are these are a little bit different. These aren't pink. These are these are a little these are a little bit spongier, maybe. This isn't your classic one. Are those more spongy? Yeah. See these? Can I see for a second? I'm gonna show my I'm gonna show the chat. See, this is this is this is a little bit. See, it's a it's a little different consistency than the pink one, right? Yes. Smaller, so. Yeah, a little smaller. Which do you prefer? Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Not Either it, way, they'll adapt. As long as you can hit. Right, New Yorkers will, can, will play with any type of ball. He's like, as long as you can hit it, 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 it counts. <laughs> See, that's the classic pink ball. She got contact, so she's let. She's allowed one more swing. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. There she goes. There she goes. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. And they got it. Yeah, it is similar size. Uh, these these red balls are smaller than a tennis ball. I would say the pink ball is a similar size to a tennis ball. Hudson found a, a, a half-eaten hot dog over there. He didn't have it, but he, he, he spotted it. Yeah, the Tonys are tonight. Yes, we're really excited because... Guys, pray for six. Pray for the musical <laughs> six. We want the musical six to win some Tonys because they're our clients. They hired us to photograph not only the Brooks Atkinson Theater, but also all their Broadway domination. They, they did a whole big signage along, um, so if they win along the Tony, Times Square. Um, they're going to redo it all. Yeah, and they might, if they win the Tonys, that means they'll have to redo their signage yeah. and maybe we'll, yeah. you know, photograph them again. Well, yeah. We want the play to win. Yeah, yeah we want the play to win. <laughs> they're, they're our client where, where we want, vote for six. Okay, here we go. Girl power. 
Alexander Nilsson played something similar to this as youth, but used a tennis ball and baseball bat. Yeah, this is stickball. This is a classic New York City street game played by kids. Basically, you had no money to buy a baseball. You just played with a broomstick. And you got this cheap ball from like your corner store. Fan US says the music in six is really good. Thank you. Oh my god, look at this! Look at this French bulldog! Oh. This is Spud! How old is Spud? He's almost two. Spud is almost two! Oh my god, they look like it's like mini me! Spud! I love that name! Oh, Spud! Oh! Oh, you've made Hudson's day. He loves French Bulldogs. He has a lot of Frenchy friends. Yeah, Because you know why? They can um, put up with him. You know, like they're tough, you know? They're small, but they're tough. Spud hangs out with like a brown bully. Hi, Spud! Hi! But I like sent him to daycare. Oh! Oh, Spud and Hudson, look at that. Yeah, it is a mini Hudson. Look, now Spud's, look, Hudson scratched and then Spud scratched. Yeah, you know. What's Spud like a treat? I have, um, I have little, wait, hold on. Are you kidding? Guys, game is going on. Family fun, stickball. On West 19th Street, you notice the clouds are darkening a little bit over here. I get the good stuff. Okay, ready? You gotta sit though, Bubba. I want right paw. That's left paw. Spud's like, I don't know any of Jimmy McManus out here, Jambo. Okay, what do you think? Is it one more? Is it, is it allowed? One more. Is it? Okay. Hudson, catch. Spud, I don't know if you catch, so I will, I will make yeah, you Yeah, cuties, that. right? Yeah. You know, he's athletic, but not aerodynamic. <laughs> There you go. What you gotta do, this is our secret. We train them on popcorn. Oh my god. Movie night. What a yeah. good idea. Yeah, toss some popcorn yeah. at them. Because, you know, like you could just do unbuttered popcorn and it won't be bad for them. Like, yeah. it's actually pretty, pretty good for them. Yeah. As long as it's unbuttered. And hey, yes, Fields 99. You know, air it. Yeah, just like air the popper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, um, you can keep on. We did it, like, since he was a puppy. And, like, then he got good at it. At first, he had terrible. Like, <laughs> like at, at six months, they don't know what to do. <laughs> it would just bop him in the nose, and we'd be like, "Oh no!" Oh, he loves it. He loves fun. He's like, I'm so cute. All right, let's go, buddy. Bye, guys. Bye, Spud. Oh, my God. Spud, how Angela cute. Angela Baldwin, see if any are for rescue. Yeah, see if they're available for rescue. But be forewarned. If you... They, um... They have a lot of breathing issues because of their short snout. So you have to be really careful. You know, they have a lot of uh, breathing issues. Uh-huh. Look, guys, I'm not saying anything, but the sky is looking ominously dark. That's what I said, up in this area. Right up in there. Janet and Anthony said, oh, no, a puppy situation. Oh, it was Spud was so cute. Spud. Spud. Spud the French Bulldog. Yeah, the clouds are looking a little ominous. Oh, good. Go. Wow. Go, Emma. What the hell? She go! 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 Keep on running! Go, go, go! She has hit nothing but doubles all day this week. What's wrong with you? He's trying to take kids and then you're stopping Hold on. What's up? Eli. Eli's on. Where's Eli? Look at this, guys. Hey, we used to do that down south. Lock the street for the day. I'm up. He's up. Anthony loves a Frenchie. Oh, yeah, the French Bulldogs are so cute. So cute. 
Look, she's getting a lesson on how to, she's got to choke up, choke up. That's what that is, choke up, you know, get your hold right. Hudson's having the time of his life. They're being nice and they're letting her swing a lot. Really, if you swing, if you if you swing and miss, it's supposed to be an out. But they're they're giving her extra chances. Oh, go for it! Yeah, she is adorbs. Guys, I think it's another hot dog time for Hudson. What do you think? Oh, look at this! Oh my God! Hi, is this puppy? Yeah. Oh. You look so happy. I look so happy. How many months? Nine months. Nine months? Oh, he's ten years old. Yeah. Look at Hudson. He's like, oh, no, they just, they promised me a hot dog, and oh, I don't know. I don't know. They're they're faking me out here. Hi, hi, baby. Hi. Oh, you're so soft. You're so soft. What do you think of the little puppy? You like the little puppy? I don't want to make him jealous. Oh no, he's fine. He loves puppies. Yeah, he's real good. They can they can Hudson. nibble on him. His name Hudson. is Hudson. Hudson. Yeah, see, he's on the bag. Oh, very yeah, good. Got, got the Hudson outfit. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's easy to find things to do with that name. Bye bye. Do you want to hold this for the, for the game while I go inside uh, to get the hot dog? Sure. Okay. Guys, I'm going to go Guys, inside. Guys, the car's and get trying up, to go through. Up, now, that's strongly discouraged. Ball. Cars are strongly... Yes, cars are strongly discouraged from coming through here. But occasionally someone will ask the right way, and it'll be fine. Welcome aboard. Hope you're having a nice Sunday, guys. Stoop wiffle ball, yeah, right, Calypso Kins? You get that wiffle ball made in Shelton, Connecticut. The Spaulding at the newsstand, a little pink ball. One went up on the roof, that's an out. If you foul it off or, or you hit a home run, it goes up on the roof, that's an automatic out. Yeah, he's getting a girl, Carla's getting a hot dog. Carla is getting a hot dog for Hudson. There he is, he's waiting. This is out of McManus building here. Peter McManus. Oh, big swing. Ha, Nick G. <laughs> yeah, classic New York, right, Fentu? Fentu S. Here's a scene. This is what happens to traffic over here. They're all rerouted. They just blocked the street. Dalius Huar. No permits needed out here. It's McManus. Spaldines, yeah, John PS30, happy I know how to pronounce Spaldines. Okay. Made by Spalding. One for us, one for Hudson. Pinkies. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, one for us. One, one for, for us, Hudson. one for the Hudster. Alright, I'll take the first bite. Alright, here we go. Ready? Uh oh, careful. Ball's out on the street. Alright, here we go. Carla took a bite. Take another one, honey. I missed it. I'm trying to keep Hudson, uh, you know. No, it, I have to get a piece for Hudson. Two hot dogs, one for Nick G. Send it up to the booth. Hey Rudy, Ayurheta, Ayurheta, in 99, you got it. You want a little bite? Yeah, I'll have a test, taste one. I'm sure they're good as always, you know. Extra good. How McManus does it, you know. Oops, I got... Oh, extra good. Oh, that's nice. They're really good. Yeah, that's beautiful. All right, here we go for Hudson. It's a beautiful thing, guys. Yeah, I'm going to come where you can see the game. Guys, at scoreboard, just chalk on the street. Good boy. 
boy, Hudson. Good boy, Hudson. Yeah, you have that one. I'm going to finish Who's this little Hudson. guy? Look at him. Mm. Look at how focused Hudson is. There's Mr. McManus coming over. Jambo, right, huh? Right paw. Right paw. Left paw. Right paw. Good did Carla boy. give my donation? Tiger Lily, yes. Yes, yes, I did. Thank you, Tiger Lily. Thank I you, gave Tiger you Lily. The bar. Yep. Gave the donation right to the bar itself. Inside the beautiful Peter McManus Cafe. Broccoli says, I'm turning the other way. Um, with, uh, oh, Danette said we found our mini Spalding basketball this morning. Munch could have rolled it under the bed. <laughs> hey, Danette and Anthony, how you making out? Huts, huts, huts. Take the huts there. Oh, hell's breaking loose over here, guys. Oh, thank you, Tiger Lily. Thank you. Fantastic job supporting them. Mets fan, 1023, no. This is uh, 7th Avenue at uh, 7th Avenue, West 19th Street. Stickball. Hot dogs. Yeah, Dallas Hard. Hudson can eat steak. We got two Carla's getting a picture of Jimmy McManus. Over here. Bravo. It's not bad today. It's like 72. Cloudy as all get out. Smack dab. In the middle of a stickball scene. This it. Look, they bring they bring tables out. Little chairs. They have their beer. They have their hot dogs. Look, looks great, right? Oh, he looks absolutely fantastic. And we can always, you know, you know, and then on the other one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He has his, Bubba has his McManus Mutz t-shirt on. I know. Let's head back over here. Yeah, I was going to get some more over here, too. That sounds, pro oh, you're getting some pictures. Yeah, that's a good idea. This guy has his sports lens on over here. This is a big hitter here. you got to watch out. The ball yeah. could fly anywhere. Watch your eyes, guys. Big hitter. Big hitter at the plate. Daryl Strawberry. gets that egg shape when you hit it. A little high, a little low. Hey, Pedro Falcone hopping along. Stickball. You know what came out real nice? So 
So you hit the ball on a bounce, guys. Cars, everything else is in play. Oh, a little outside. Oh, Eugene McGreevy, hey. No. Josh Dean, windows are not safe at all. Everyone kind of looks the other way. Yeah, here, give me HUDs. Give me HUDs. I got him. He's, he's fun. You sure? Yeah, I want to get the little you know, that. Yeah, it's, it's a good look in front of this forester right here. Hey! <laughs> oh boy. Sure, yeah. Oh god, oh you're gonna get it. You're oh, gonna the get ear it. Nibble. Ear nibble. Nose you're nibble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the ear nibble. I, I have to myself. Oh, so oh you they're know. the best. Yeah. That's how they play. Yeah. yeah, he's a little extra as I call it. Oh god, you're you're gonna get it now. Big kisses, big kisses. How old is it? He just turned 10. I know he never stay big. Big puppy. Yeah, he has a little gray, but... Yeah. But he still gets... Go! 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 He's tired when we go on long walks. But other than that, he's like, you know, just like... Honey, easy, 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 easy. 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 Oh, oh wow, nice. big guy. Yeah. Wow. So he's actually like a little bit skinny. He's a little bit fatter than he is. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, I know how they play. Like, they always yeah. want to like Oh, yeah, he's a, he's a nibbler. <laughs> and he's a jumper, too. And he's all possessed. Like, he would just take that ball and let it go. Yeah. All possessed. <laughs> Another big hitter, guys. Yeah, cat Hudson up at the plate. Got Mr. Hudson? I got Mr. Hudson. Baseball heaters, exactly. Is that subway entrance closed? Loose ends, it's only for a subway exit. Oh, that was a good hit. It's an exit. Um, you can exit, uh, but you can't enter on the subway. You have to, you have to go one block uh, south. I think one block south, there's a right over there on 18th Street. So this is... I think Hudson might need some water. We're gonna go check on, uh, make sure. Oh yeah, wait, wait, we'll wait to this out bat. Hold on. No, no onions. No, onions are bad for dogs. No onions on Hudson's hot dog. Yeah, dogs are not supposed to have onions, and they're not supposed to have um, garlic, I believe. Hudson, I love that name. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Right hooks, what do you think? Wow. Spaldines, exactly. I love that name. The pink ball, Spaldines. Oh, I love that. They rescued him at four months. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah, he was um he was on death row, they were gonna kill him. They said he was dangerous. Oh yeah, this is Hudson. Yeah, he's very sweet. Go right ahead. Hey Hudson, are you a sweetheart? He is, he is. He knows you're talking about him now, so he's like Okay, I'll take it. I love it. Yeah. He's like, keep the pets coming, I love it. Oh, oh god. Oh, See, and you only just met, and he's already given the, he's always giving giving French kisses already. Oh my God. Oh, you're so silly, you're so silly. Easy, easy. You want a treat? You want to give them to them? You want a treat? Oh, can we do that? Of course. Oh, he knows. He's like, that's a man. This is a treat bag. Yeah, the pizza treat bag. He's like, he knows. Yeah, you know, Hudson is Fanny West, Girl in the Curl. Thanks for moderating. <laughs> that's about it. That's about the yeah. He did it so fast. He's tremendously gifted. Oh, he catches it too. He catches it. Oh, yeah. Toss a little bit. Yeah, Ali Roger. You know how Hudson does it. You know. It's like fishing for Hudson. It's okay. Just throws out the bait and reels him in. One more. Oh, big shake. Yeah, get your slobber everywhere. That's perfect. He's ready. Catch. I fell, fell. Oh, hey. good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, I love it. Oh, what a sweet boy. Yeah, catch, mess, mess, mess. He's a player. He's like more and more. Player. They're Ryan here. Ryan left. Oh, should we get Hudson some water? Yeah, let's get him some water. You oh, know. Should I put, let me put this away. I think I, yep. I got a, a couple of good You got it. I'm not sure what I did with the cap, but I'm just going to throw it in there. All right. Hudson's going to run the half the <laughs> show. No, they were leaving it. I said it before last year. It wasn't because you should. All right, uh, Phil. No. <laughs> He'll take the ball. You'll never see it. Oh, yeah. Now we're good. Hey, Johnny Azaria TV. Just saw on ESPN that Hudson hit a grand slam. Oh! Johnny Azaria, you know Hudson. All right, we're going to go get some cold water for Mr. Hudson. Yeah, I'll wait right here. A little cherub, right, Johnny Azaria? Palm Springs, triple digits. Oh, girl in the curl. Hot time weather. Hey, Philadelphia Walks, how are you doing today? Thanks for popping in. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out on Sunday. Uh, Nick Jeter back. Show him the door. Here we go. His name is Hudson, yeah. Hope you're having a nice Sunday, Johnny Azaria. Hey, Marion. Oh, line drive. Grounder. How you doing? All right, Michelle? Good, good. Can't complain, right? It's not going to help. <laughs> it's not going anywhere, right? Nothing's going anywhere, so. Hey, Jose Concha. Pop it in from Honduras. Welcome aboard.
Yeah, we showed those sex chat people a door yet again. Maybe today, you know, hope springs eternal with them guys. Today's the day they're gonna, you know. Oh, nice hit. Nice for the Hudson. 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 Hudson, what do you think? Oh, yeah, it's yes. got to be hand served. You know that, guys. <laughs> if you put it on the ground, forget it. You know, it's not good enough. Jimmy, look at this low rider. Where's that now? Oh, over there. Yeah, that looks like brisket. It does. Guys, it looks like brisket down on the Bari. Look at a pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. Hi. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Good. Who is this? That's Bella. Who's that? This is Hudson. Hi, Bella. Hey, Bella. Yeah, I got Mr. Hudson. Oh no, you know you can't be the same. Hi, Bella. I met you guys once before. Yes, we did. Right up a couple blocks north. Did I? I might have. <laughs> oh, him. him. No, he's always been trim. Yeah, yeah he's always I been trim. I thought you were giving me, you know, a little motivation. <laughs> you you compliments. You know. <laughs> How you doing, Bella? Oh, show Nick G the Porsche. Oh, Nick G, look. That's a nice one. 66 for Bella. She looks great. Oh, give her a kiss. Nice. Aww, Bella. The tail of Bella, Bella and Hudson. Hudson, Bella and Hudson. Now back to water. Back to water. Oh, oh Marion, like hope you had good news on your son. He's in the hospital, but it's going to be okay. Oh, that's Marian. excellent. That's excellent amazing. job, Marion. Thanks for the update. We're keeping in our thoughts and prayers as always. Here we go. Thoughts and prayers, Marion. Oh, Heidi and Nelly Sapelli, dollar forty-nine euro. Oh, thank you, Heidi thank and Nelly. You, thank you, Thanks Heidi. Thanks for joining us on Sunday. Let me show you, Mr. Hudson. 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 Hudson is looking for hot dogs that might have fallen on the ground. He's already eaten two whole hot dogs and plenty of treats, by the way. Oh. I got rid of sex chats. Oh, good. Yeah, they've been in and out all day. Yeah, they love it. Henrik said Hudson is the best YouTuber. Yeah. Thank oh, you, Henrik. This is a big hitter up. He hit it in the park home run, in the street home run before. He's doing good. Here's the scene. The street is closed. Yeah. Guys. Pigeons are flying around. We're at Peter McManus Cafe. Yeah. A little bit before, we spoke with Jamo, the third generation oh, owner they gotta, they gotta move the, they of McManus move. Cafe. Oh, cars coming down. Let's move Hudson's water as well. She, she asked real nice. Yes. The car. Yes. She asked, I noticed she asked really politely and right. nicely. She asked nicely. I've got to get through. And they, they moved the barriers for her. Angela Baldwin says Hudson is so friendly. He is. He loves saying hi to people. He loves saying hi to other dogs, cats even, birds. I mean, he's a lover. He's a lover. What can we say about Hudson? He is an ambassador to New York she City. She has a doggo in the car. Oh, she has a doggo in the car. So, of course, we like her. Hudson is an, it should be the ambassador to New York City. Oh, there's Bella's back. Bella wants to go Hi, home. Bella. <laughs> Bella, you back? <laughs> Hudson got a hot dog. Wow. Oh, Bella's back. Would Bella like a treat? Could she have a treat? Yes, Bella. Oh. 
Okay, it's tree time for, for Bella and Hudson. Yay! Hey, Costas World. World. Costas World. Thanks for coming in. Right off. Good boy. And here's for Bella. Good girl. Good girl, Bella. Good boy, Hudson. Good boy. Fantastic. <laughs> So I good. Know, I know. So great. Oh, no problem. Thank you, Costas, for joining us. Costas. It's nice. Nice breeze, right? Oh, look. Uh, the, the buddy's back with the sneakers. Yeah. The dog with the sneakers is back. That's Buddy. Yeah, he won't wear sneakers. Hudson will not wear anything on his feet. Look, Buddy is back. Buddy is the sneaker wearing uh, doggy. Oh, Bella. Yeah, I think I, I almost like the treats that we have for Hudson are almost almost too big for Bella. <laughs> She's such a tiny little one. <laughs> Buddy. Buddy, uh, uh, this is Bella. This is Bella. That's Buddy. We know Buddy. Buddy has the sneakers. Bella's a girl. Can I have a cat treat? Oh, Hudson would eat a cat treat. He likes fish. Hi, Buddy. Would Buddy like a treat? You know what? He just had a bunch at William Sonoma. Oh, he did. Oh, well, good taste then. Buddy just had treats from William Sonoma. He's he is a very sophisticated dog. So they were, maybe they were they were big gourmet. Gourmet, gourmand treats. Only the best for Buddy, the sneaker wearing dog. And there's Bella. This is the gang's all here, and here's Hudson. Sonny doesn't like fish. Marion, what kind of cat do you have? What kind of cat does not like fish? Sonny does not like fish. Yeah, Buddy is fancy. Buddy, Buddy had gourmet treats from William Sonoma. He's very fancy. He's a fancy, he's a fancy dog. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice you. meeting you. Yeah. Nice seeing you too. Bye, Bella. Bye. Oh, here comes Buddy again. Here comes Buddy. Here comes Buddy. Hi, Buddy. Oh, and, and Buddy, Buddy has seen your Instagram, by the way. Oh, oh nice. he does. Your storefront. Buddy oh, Buddy awesome. Up. Buddy follows us on Instagram. Right, Big ups to Buddy. Buddy, you're checking us out on Instagram. Amazing <laughs> history of storefront. Oh, oh thank you. Right yeah, we'll put up Peter McManus tomorrow. We put up today's today's post, but. This will be tomorrow's post for sure. Yeah, that would be like anywhere. Real yeah, Tiffany windows. Yeah, did you know that? The windows are the real Tiffany glass. glass. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. 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 And cool. in the back bar, and the it's and the bar is mahogany. It's 75 feet long. It's the original bar. It's the oldest family-owned and continuously operating bar in New York City. Awesome. There's older bars, but they're not run by the same family. They're you oh. know since they were founded. Oh. But this one Look has been one. in the McManus family forever. Oh wow, that was an amazing oh, hit. I, I don't All even know where it went. By the, uh, great building. It went all the way down the street to the gray building. On a taxpayer. They used to call two-story buildings taxpayers. Ah. Right? Yeah. Because they would buy that, and while they were saving up money to build a big building, they would put up a two-story just to pay the taxes on the lot. Ah, so that's called smart. taxpayers. Like restaurant over there, that's a taxpayer. Oh, Jimmy, that's a great, that's a great little uh, See that? bit of information. She's coming alive. Is Hudson ready to pioneer the three hot dogs in one day limit? Oh, yeah, he'll take that on, Joe, the square yeah, peg. Have another hot dog. Oh, yeah. He could eat. He could eat. I could eat. All right, That's take a, care. Have a great nice day. Oh, thank you. It was nice meeting Bye, you, too. Bye, buddy. Danette loves the thumbnail today. Thank you, Danette. You know, secretly they ruled me off playing. I just, I would just dominate the game. Nick G wants everyone to know that he doesn't like cat food. And he doesn't like fish. Nick G? Yes. Okay. Next time we go out to dinner, Nick G, when we're over in London or you're down in Miami or over down here in New York, no cat food. Heather's cat doesn't like a cat food, um, fish either. 
Wow, Hudson loves the fish. Hudson loves fish. It's actually one of his favorite foods. Is um, the kids love I, the fish. I try to make salmon once a week because it's really good for James's um, a heart and cholesterol. James's whole. You know, it's you part know. of the it's part of the broccoli diet to have grilled salmon with steamed broccoli. Yeah, hey. And um, on, I give I give water. I give the um, skin to Hudson. You know, the the skin from the the salmon fish. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, what time do they shut this down? This is gone dusk. till till uh, sunset. It says dusk. Yeah. Dusk. Dusk. <laughs> Lee Hild Wilbraham said dogs sweat through their feet. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, Hudson won't wear the boots. Hudson won't, won't wear boots. I mean, sneakers, whatever you, know. you want to call them. He does have a pair of Bally sleeping loafers. Oh God, Bally slippers. Yeah. Yeah, he does have those with a smoking jacket. But other than that, he won't wear something on his feet. Fanu West likes, likes that I make you salmon with uh, broccoli. Yeah. No, the only time I eat like crap is out here. Yeah. He ate a hot dog. Carla won't let me. Uh, no, I had two-thirds of a hot dog. James had two-thirds of one hot dog. And don't let, broccoli's going to make me regret it later. Broccoli will make him regret it Remember later. Remember, guys, broccoli's like 6'7", 320 pounds. He's going to smack me around later. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to smack the silly out of me. Time will tell, said Mr. James. Sounds like Tom Hanks. Oh, thanks. Look at these little guys. Girls. Hello, ladies. Oh, oh nice hit. Oh, nice hit. Oh, nice oh. hit. Oh, yeah, he's, got my, he's got my uniform on that I wore for like 15 years. George Lopez said, no one offered um, Nick G a treat. So sad. I had a dog on the back. That's not true. We offered. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this way of carrying a dog. Oh my God, don't let Hudson see it. Look how adorable this is. That's the, the most adorable thing I've ever seen. You're giving him too many ideas, guys. <laughs> Ma, why don't I do that? Oh my God, a why doggy you me on your backpack. Can you imagine Hudson in a dog backpack? Should, chat, I want to ask you a question. Should we get a backpack for, for Hudson. Hudson? Yeah, when he gets older, we'll try. Like another French. Marion said, "Life is like a box of chocolates, James." Yeah, exactly, hey. guys. We're having a, a, we're, we're having an official chat poll. Would you like to see Hudson inside a backpack? Inside a backpack. When you know when he gets older and he can't walk, you know, as far with us. What do you think of that idea, guys? Let us know. Yes, Myrna says a backpack for Hudson. Carla can carry James and Hudson in it. Yeah. Oh my God, I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> yeah, James and Hudson in it. He's a big dog that doesn't like even seem realistic. Exactly, EW. Oh, I got to get the, um, the, the, uh, yeah, battery. the battery thing. A little bit more. Yeah. This is the scene, guys. Outside Peter McManus, 7th Avenue, West 19th Street. But they're also very funny. Hanging out in Chelsea, guys, Sunday. You're gonna notice the sound change a little, guys. 14-8, last inning. This is the last inning. I got it. 14-8. Wait a minute. It's 14 to eight, guys. This is a big stick up at the plate right now. This dude has knocked him like silly every time he's up. Yeah, he's getting a little close to the bat. They got to keep him back. That guy swings like a... There he goes. Look at that. See, it was egg-shaped because he hit it a little low. He hit the bottom of the ball and the ball goes egg-shaped. The small bean. Oh, yeah, go check. Oh, Myrna Bergen just sent us... Canadian $5 oh, for Hudson's Backpack Fund. Oh 
Oh my oh. God, Hudson's backpacks on. Hudson. Thank you, Myrna. Myrna, fantastic it's job. It's official. The fund is started. We're saving for a Hudson backpack. Yeah, and as he gets older, he's gonna need it. You know, because we walk miles and miles and miles. And we've had older pitties before. They do make a dog backpack. They do like for, to be carried. For, for Hudson's size dog. They do make one. I, I did look into it. Yeah, here you go. Oops, a little late with the swing. Oh, nice. You made contact. Wow. Nice. Nice. Hey, Joe the Square Peg. They also make emergency harnesses for backpackers to pack out injured puppies on remote hikes, even large dogs. Whereas a much larger backpack with the dog on. See, they make like ones to fit. Yeah. For emergencies, for emergencies too. That's a great fact. Like a, a rescue, like in Show the Show the square peg. Nice job on that. Like in the mountains or something. So. Yeah. Yeah, like if you're hiking in the mountains and the dog hurts his leg. Right. How the hell are you gonna get him out? Right. Nice we're, job. We're, we're gonna we're gonna get one for Hudson. Show the square peg, nice it's job. It's official. Myrna started the fund. We're we're gonna we're gonna it's official. Remember this day, guys. Right. Remember where you were when the Hudson Backpack Fund started. At Stickball. Stickball. In front of Peter McManus. Peter Cafe. McManus annual stickball event. Yeah, but 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 the one. Here he goes. Oh, he's watching it. Good eye. Good eye. Good eye. Good eye, guys. Yep. Booba. Woo! Watch your eyes. Yep. I got it. Oh, that, that took off like a bullet. Oh. He's rad power. He's rad power. He's got to get those groceries delivered, guys. Right. You know, your fourth can of Pringles for Jim. He's going to secretly behind the camera eating his Pringles. No, I don't touch that. Go, Jacob, go. Jacob, go. Maybe could sell advertising space on the backpack. Myrna. Oh, oh you're on to something so now. Myrna's thinking. Myrna. That would be amazing. We'd be like a, a walking advertising. Yeah. Hutz is a big boy. Yeah. Hutz is a big boy. Joanne saying we could always push Hudson around in a stroller. Yeah, we did see yeah, yesterday, but I like backpack a little bit better now because because it, Hudson isn't to the point where oh, there's the there's the ball. Hudson's not. Hudson is still very fit, so he doesn't need a stroller. Um, you know, we hope that he maintains his athleticism through his older senior years. But just in case, I, I like the idea of a backpack for now. Oh, what a wonderful world is saying hi from North Carolina. Hi guys. If you're just joining in, thanks for watching. I'm Carla. This is James is next to me. Most importantly, our rescue dog Hudson. We appreciate you subscribing if you're new to our channel because um, it helps our small, small channel grow and it's free. Working the picture. Yeah, he's working. Working the picture here. Here we go. Fenu nice. S. Wait oh, a minute. This is fair. important, James. Right, Fenu S. says we can work our way up to personal private helicopter for Yeah, well, you know. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's the goal. I mean, the end that, goal. The end goal, yeah. Sure, but you got to start. You know, you got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. We'll start small. A backpack will do. Yeah. There he goes. Big stick at the plate right now. Big stick. Here, move on. Okay, here we go. This is going to be a big one, guys. going to be a big one. All right, how are you guys? Teach Hudson how to ride a bike. Oh, Launch one. Oh, of course. His name is Hudson. That's Hudson. Oh, look at Hudson's getting some love. Oh, you're going to get a big kiss. You are. <laughs> when you go down to his level, that's it. You got you to get ready for the big monster kiss. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Look at this. Look at that. Look at the love. Look at that. Look at the face. He's loving it. 
Mm. Hudson's popular. He's popular among the ladies. <laughs> Hudster kisses. Yeah, I think I think that was it. I think the game is over, guys. This was extra, 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 extra good. Amazing, amazing. Wow, extra, extra, extra good. Hudson had hot dogs. He made so many friends. This was amazing, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. The annual. Oh, wait a minute. This is funny. Girl and Curl just got the notice about the New York City rooftop watching the New Rangers game. Yeah, that was, I put up that late last night. That was just late a little a little short. I can't believe you're just getting the notification now. Yeah, you're on YouTube. They're always on top of A them. day late and a dollar short, as the saying goes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Guys, this was so amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. This was such an amazing day we had here in Chelsea, Peter McManus Cafe. Let's give it up to Peter McManus that does this annual event. It's the oldest continuously operating bar run by the same family, family owned, same family since it opened in 1936. They have Tiffany stained glass windows. They have a beautiful mahogany bar, 75 feet long. Great place to go uh, have a beer also to eat they they have great burgers they make a and nice hamburger, guys. they make a really great burger they we had nice hamburger we had their hot dogs today the hot dogs are free hot and the dog, beer is free of a hot dog guys relax yeah broccoli just relax okay yeah so guys we really appreciate you watching thanks so much and listen i, I know um monday is our our normal day for um broccoli puzzle build uh, we're gonna see if we have a client meeting tomorrow in the afternoon but we're gonna see maybe what we can do yeah maybe we can jump on afterwards with the with the broccoli puzzle build in the later afternoon after we finish our our client meeting yeah. so we'll we'll put up an advanced notification on um, patreon and YouTube members so they know when we'll be continuing our broccoli puzzle build but Guys, I hope you had a nice Sunday. I hope you enjoyed the stickball game, classic New York City street game here in Chelsea. And uh, yeah, we're, um, we're gonna go walk off that hot dogs. Yeah, hey. So let me uh, say goodbye with Mr. You Hudson. You hear the subway going down. Yeah, you hear the subway. Thanks, guys. Broccoli says, go with broccoli free instead of french fries. Yeah, bye guys. Have a great rest of your Sunday and we'll see you, you know, hopefully tomorrow.